everybody. We have uh, defensive coordinator Clayton Norberg here, as well as uh, junior wide receiver Jatavia Stewart. Um, guys, uh, I know you're a couple days away from playing Olivet Nazarene, um, but uh, let's actually rewind and talk about um, the St. X game first. Uh, Jatavia's first, obviously, awesome game. Um, five touchdowns overall. Um, Personally, I feel like I don't know how you were slighted out of being <laughs> player of the week for things, but that's beyond me. Um, everything just kind of came together. Uh, just talk about the game. Uh, I mean, coaches prepared as well, offensively and defensively. Uh, we knew they were going to be on one-on-one coverage from the outside guys, and we knew when they crashed the box with nine players, with our receivers out on the edge, there's, we don't think there's no one that can cover us really, so... I mean, with the running backs running the way they are, it's opening it up for us on the outside. So. Definitely. Um, talk about how, obviously, you guys have had three different quarterbacks this year. Um, whenever Taylor comes back, um, we can discuss that at a later time. But um, how has that been to work with three different quarterbacks and three different styles? And, and obviously, you and uh, Tyler linked up really well. I mean, he put it in a place, and you just managed to find it um, time after time. But... How has that been working with so many different quarterbacks? Uh, everything's been good. All that comes back from during the summer and the springtime sure. and chemistry. Everybody got our chemistry together. We did routes with every quarterback. One quarterback come in one day and everything, and everything worked out for the best. Okay. Definitely. Um, you're obviously getting a chance to run the ball a little bit, too. Um, obviously, you're a wide receiver first off, but you got to love uh, running the ball a little bit and getting some good uh, good yardage there. Um just talk talk about that end, you know, being able to do both both sides. I mean, I really, I mean, I, I really appreciate them letting me do more than one position. But where are they willing to put me? Whatever I can do to help my team, I'll do any position. Sure, definitely. Um, Clayton, we'll switch uh, gears over to you for a second. Um, huge game last weekend as far as just yards, a lot of implications, everything, but uh, tons of points, tons of uh, yardage. Um, you know, obviously you guys probably are a little disappointed you didn't have a better defensive outing and just overall with the outcome. But what have you guys learned from that game that you can put forth towards Olivet this weekend? Well, the one thing we did take away from it is our guys played hard. Right. Obviously you can look it down to the very last minute and Definitely. getting onside kicks and um, having a chance to kick that field goal. Our guys never quit. Mm -hmm. And going forward, you know, we got head guys in the spots to make plays. And that's what it really came down to is that we felt offensively our scheme was good. We put uh, points and you know, we got turnovers too defensively and uh, we had chances to stop them. And it really came down to making the play and uh, the when he had the chance to make it. Right. And so going forward, you know, trusting your teammates, trusting other people are going to be there and trusting yourself that have the confidence to go make those plays when you're putting those opportunities. Because, um, you know, effort's not an issue with our guys. We're going to play hard. just comes down to you know, making those final plays and hoping, you know, wanting that W. Definitely. Um, what's uh, been the team morale this week? Obviously, playoffs and conference title are still fully at reach. I mean, nothing's really changed in that respect. It's just maybe not outright anymore. But, um, you know, how, how have you guys gone about your business this week going ahead to Olivet, who's maybe not as a good competitor? Or, you know, obviously the record right. shows they're not a St. X. Absolutely. Yeah, and they're not a St. X. And then the total is it's sandwiched between Grandview, too. Right. Uh, and nothing against Olivet. They're going to play people hard. And, Definitely. you know, we've been in, I've been in this league for a long time, and they're going to be well coached. So we're approaching it as that we had a great week of practice last week and had a great game against St. X. Yeah, we didn't win, but we played a quality football game. Right. So we're approaching it. we got to do the same thing three weeks in a row now and have, give ourselves a chance to make the playoffs. And, you know, if you don't do that and you give up one that, you know, everyone's expecting us to get through all of that and have a big game next week against Grandview, we can't be looking at that. We can't be looking forward. If we don't prepare all of that, we're at their homecoming, at their place. Right. They'll sneak up on you and they'll, they'll make the season real bitter and not yeah. make that game next week mean nothing, really. Right. Definitely a trap game, exactly. um, so to speak. Um, what have you guys seen, and you know, we talked about this before, we got on camera, but what have you seen from Olivet um, on your end? So what are they doing offensively that you feel like you can exploit, or, or what are you guys worried about? Well, what I told you before is that they're they're consistently running their offense. We, right. There's teams before that we've seen that struggle. I think they have one win that, you know, they start running a grab bag of things. They're going to try to sure. trick you and change their offense from week to week to week, and... You know, as a players, I think you don't trust your coaches when you're doing things like that. Mm -hmm. So the, the coaches and the players, they've all bought into their system. They're running their system. So they've shown improvement, and they, they yeah. can show the ability to rack up some yards and um, things of that nature. And they have 
run the ball for some yards, and sure. their throwing game hasn't been great. So the thing that we think, feel we can exploit, and what they've done is they've turned the ball over. They have 30 fumbles on the year, right. so they have you know it's they have potential to get yardage, but where we got to exploit them is if they are running their offense, we got to get the ball on the ground and get turnovers. Yeah, that was something I was going to mention. I think they have 29 turnovers overall in a year, right. so they obviously cough it up in a, in a lot of different respects. And, and we've been, we have 19 uh, takeaways, so we've done a pretty good job on our end yes. to, to get the ball back. So that could be a, a big advantage uh, for the statesman. Right. Um, anything else with, with regards to other things that you've seen? Um, yeah, I know... You're, I'll let you talk about the offensive side a little bit, and also Jatavius, but what have you guys seen or heard about what they're doing defensively that might slow us down, or what, are they, um, what do you I, think they might have? Again, I think you know just a team that you, what we like about the option is that we want to get into the playoffs and play some teams that don't prepare for us right. any, year in and year out. I mean, even last time we were in the playoffs, we went playing St. X, and they've seen us on film. They're in yeah. our conference. Sure. Uh, so we get a chance to go to a different conference, play a different team that hasn't had to defend the option is a is a big thing. So they they've you know played the option. They're going to do what they do. And but what's kind of good with that is you know we know what they're going to do. But right. they've been good on defense. That's you know they've played some close games. Mm -hmm. They beat Trinity, who's a quality team because their right. defense keeps them around. It does get turnovers. They're going to play hard. They've always a well coached team. Mm -hmm. And you know defense. If you've got guys that believe in the scheme and fly around like our guys do, you're uh, going to have a chance to win it uh, week in and week out. Sure. Same question, uh, Jatavis. What have you guys seen on film that maybe you feel like, hey, I, we can we can totally beat that guy. We can beat this defense if they set up this way. We know what we're going to be able to do. Not, not giving too much away, obviously. I mean, it's like I guess every team, they crash the box. Whenever they mm -hmm. crash the box and leave one-on-one -on, -one on the edge with sure. our receiving core, I think we have a good chance of beating any corners that play against us. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and the question everybody it's probably got from last Saturday is, okay, how did you catch half of those balls? <laughs> Man, okay, what kind of glue did you put on your gloves? <laughs> to you just steal get them you away just get close playing. to this guy. Yeah, you, you just get it close, him. obviously, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, it's just concentration on the ball, looking through the tuck. Sure, definitely. Well, thanks, guys, so much. Um, again, uh, Olivet on Saturday over in uh, Bourbon, uh, Illinois, uh, noon start. So um, we'll have it on our web. We'll have it, They'll have it on their web as well. So lots of ways to watch the Statesman, and uh, best of luck, guys. Thank uh, you. Appreciate it. Yeah.